free. Soft selling the free is, 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 is pay. Uh, we already have four VCs paying full boat, uh, you know, maybe next time. And then they'll be like, no, I need it now because it'll be, it'll be November 5th. Like we were sold out on November 4th. Like it's November 5th. Like our events on November 9 at the Waterloo Room at the Four Seasons. Man, I love talking at the Four Seasons. Can I please pitch? This sounds like a great event. They won't even know what the Waterloo Room is. It's like micro tiny. It's not small like a broom closet, but it'll feel packed at like 30 people. It'll feel packed at 80 people. And when it spills out in a hotel bar, people will be peeking in and be like, oh man, why am I out here? I should have paid. And then you get a guaranteed sellout. Uh, you'll, you might even get press in the Wall Street Journal for this. You can see how it becomes press in the Wall Street Journal for this, right? Because it's kind of new and it, the Wall Street Journal didn't already cover it but then they're gonna cover it because they're gonna be like, oh, VCs are desperate for deal flow. This CS major from, I almost said Stanford. This CS major from UT uh, just got paid to pitch. Like, and then you also, you kind of need to zero it out or else you're gonna have a tax consequence. Have you picked your co-founders out yet? Oh, are you supposed to get co-founders for CS178? You're time. To... Oh my God. Have you read ahead in the syllabus? Will you send me the syllabus for 439 and the syllabus for 178? Like those are two immediates. You need to pick three loser people that check the boxes of, of, blue pill Pollyanna, okay? Like people that don't hustle, that'll just take credit, okay? Because you can't just be the tall minority dude uh, being great. Because trust me, I've been the Paul, the Paul, the tall minority dude who's great, okay? And people hate that guy, okay? They hate that guy. Flash your mics if you think that's funny. You want to be the guy who makes a ton of money and then doles out credit and then and then encourages them to also make money because you get whatever money you make like it's not i make money and then we split it four ways like it's a four-way proprietorship which you should write down because that's the structure of a class is we're a decentralized corporation we're a decentralized hedge fund we're a decentralized company where we're not throwing up an incorporation doc okay and people will ask you hey are you guys going to incorporate no in fact in fact i would really explore because 600k is actually a pain in the butt well not for you because it'll help but tax wise there will be implications which josh bear actually has content on what happens when loads of money start to come in you're welcome. So, so November 2nd, you market sold out on November 4th and you have to send me those two syllabus. You must send me those two, November 4th. And then it's sold out on November 4th and November 2nd, you're at Draper house, which is some address on sixth street and you can RSVP for that. And then that's another 11 minute party. So each event is guac, guac, guacamole recipe number four a sold out event, which is a sold out event. Uh, that 11 minute party at Draper house is going to be sold out. And then for that event, you can even, you can even put that event at free, but limit the RSVPs to nine because you're a party within a party and that's going to be sold out. You shouldn't charge 30 bucks because people are gonna be like, hey, this party's free already. That's pro maneuver, where you're charging people 300 bucks for a free party. 
Do that later when you're Larry Chang after the first 63,030 tweets, okay? Because you better, you better, yeah, it's funny, right? Because you can do it, just it's very dangerous. Like you're gonna forget to do something and then just all hell break loose. Because the way to do that, to plot spoil, is if I charge 50, I'm actually gonna donate 100. So I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna give you your 50 back or I'm gonna take that 50 and donate 100 towards that philanthropy that they forgot to promote, whatever. But don't do that. That November 2nd event, that's free. And then Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, I think that event's free too. So just leave that as another free event. You know what, you should almost charge for that event. You should almost charge for that event, like 12 bucks and then offer two free drinks. Get it? Because it's open bar there. <laughs> no, no, no. Do, do four bucks for the ticket, uh, one free drink. No, no, do $3 for the ticket, and then one free drink. <laughs> Get it? Because it's open bar. <laughs> oh, my God. Three bucks for one beer. Like, oh, if we even get one beer there... You know, and they'll think, oh, I just get a shitty beer, but it's worth three bucks and it's reverse VC October 27. You like? No, no. Do you know why? Okay. Because, yeah, because, because they have no outreach to young Republicans. Like if you go to these events, they're not young and they're barely Republican. Okay. So if you bring young people, that's more than 50% their batting average. And Republican is, do you like crypto? Do you like your own property? Do you like communism? Do you hate communism? Like, that's about 90%. So they're going to say thank you. And they're going to be like, who told you? And they'll be like, uh, Larry Chang. Remember, always be honest. Who told you about this? Uh, Larry Chang did? Oh, we love that guy. Or, oh, that Larry Chang, he's a troublemaker. They never say we love him. Like, oh, that guy, he's a troublemaker. Wink, wink, right? And then they'll be like, yeah, yeah, enjoy. It's open bar, right? Scary, isn't it? Scary, isn't it? Because now you have momentum to market sold out on November 4th and a $3 party is funny, okay? It's super funny because it went zero on Draper House, it went three dollars at Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, okay, and then it went to seventy grand at the Waterloo Room. <laughs> Thirty grand. Oh my god. Oh my god. You could actually book the Waterloo Room for like some single-digit hundred dollars, but I'll call, and then if you can't get the Waterloo Room, you can for sure do it in the hotel lobby because the Four Seasons is like a ghost town every day of the week. And so you're solving a problem there because it's a ghost town there. Oh, good stuff. You're welcome. There are good details too, right? All right. Study well. I'll look for those two uh, agenda points and then... Uh, good stuff or those two syllabus all right have a good tuesday buddy hey you guys want to come up to speak i don't even know how to do the new clubhouse you guys there raise your hand if you can hear me What up? What's up, man? Was that valuable? Was that juicy? Was that awesome? You're always awesome, Larry. I can't help it. It just oozes out of me. <laughs> Good stuff, dude. So you said that Draper House was on 6th Street. Where's that located? San Diego? 
Uh, Austin, Texas. So what you're doing with uh, momentum, it's called anchor plus satellite. And so you're, you're winning when you get nine people to RSVP for a free party. But you, you, you got nine people because you loaded up the Eventbrite. And so you promoted it. And so... Getting your first customer is hard. Getting your first RSVP is hard. And you're just doing work that becomes momentum. And so hosting your own three hour party, that's not hard, but it's sort of hard for people. Anthony, have you ever hosted a party for, it doesn't matter. So, so you're, you're doing instead of your own standalone party for nine VCs you don't want to meet, you're now doing a party within a party and you're signing up nine people for that party. And after that event, at the event, you take two pictures. You write 12 sentences about that party and then you mark your party sold out because it sells out at nine. And now I know who Larry Chang is because CS major at a college, uh, I, you're brand new. If you're an undergrad at school, you're brand new. Or if you're driving Uber and now you're in town, you're brand new. And so now I know that you are a real person who hosted a party and by the looks of the picture, that those pictures look amazing. Like people don't know that are sold out at nine and they don't know it's a party within a party. And then the people who are hosting the party, they're super thankful because it's young Republicans. And so I don't care what your political leanings are because at the billionaire level, you support Republicans and Democrats because it's one big cluster F of politicians looking for power. And so you're bringing in young Republicans to a young Republican party because you care about crypto, you care about property. And then now you're a winner because you're brand new and you signed up nine people. Which Todd, last time we talked four and a half months ago, we were talking about doing Uber lead generation and you can do Uber lead generation from outside of Uber, which is if you look up who the non-employee co-founder is of the Uber API, that would be Larry Chang because it's an app. I did an app within an app, totally legal, totally legal for me to tell people to text me in order for me to help them open the Uber app and use the Uber app with a credit card, which they may not have. So if I sign you up for a credit card and then help you download an Uber app, aren't I valuable to Uber? That's a question. Yeah. Yup, what? And same thing with like a driver. Like, can you 
vacuum out your car? Can you take your car to an Uber center in your town? Can you sign up for Lyft before you sign up for Uber because then Uber wants you more? Blah, blah, blah. You now have made money being an app within an app. I didn't mention a website. It was like a, uh, a CS something. Or maybe a tiny URL, I can't remember. Are you talking about four months ago, four minutes ago, or 20 minutes ago? Yeah, like four months ago. Oh, that's LABCS3366. Do you like how I had to clarify? Live action business case study, 3366. Got it. Thanks. So it's not a website, it's on Twitter, hashtag live action business case study, LABCS 3366, which is Uber. Because while Uber is an app within an app, Uber is also a taxi company within a taxi company running a taxi company from outside of the taxi company, meaning it doesn't own the cars. It's an external API initially to just black cars, uh, Lincoln Town cars. And then they open it up to everybody's car. And so that's LABCS 3366 where Uber used to pay you $60 per new customer and it would, they would pay you 200 bucks per new driver. Now they pay you zero to $3 per new customer <clears throat> and they pay you in some cities, $1,250 to be a new Uber driver. <laughs> 